Alrighty, good morning everyone. Back for another episode today and over the next few days I thought I'd show you some of the best things to do around Pitkin Island. So let's not waste any time, let's get straight into it. Alright, so we'll start right here. This is uh, Bounty Bay. Or as it's known on Pitkin Island, it's called Down the Landing, or the Landing. So this is where the longboats are stored. It is most likely where uh, you will arrive. So I mean, nine times out of 10, the longboat will bring you in here. And uh, this will all be full up with quad bikes and cars and people waiting to meet you. Your homestay will meet you and take you up the hill of difficulty. So your first uh, experience of the landing will be quite busy, so I'd encourage you to get back down here and have a have a look. Only thing is, if they are doing cargo for longboats, um, stay away. It can get quite uh, dangerous with things swinging around and machinery moving. But on a day like today, it's fine. Come down here, go for a swim. It, there's uh, quite often turtles in here, and there's a stingray that lives over on the sand over there. Uh, if you come out onto Basil which is this end piece there, named after Basil William, Williams, the engineer that uh, came here to, to help build it. Uh, it's great fun to fish off. You can catch fish over on those rocks and also good fun to jump. So this crane is used to lift all the small fishing boats into the water. And yeah, if there's a fishing boat out there, this is where you come down to check out what their catch is. And if you walk over here, there, oh, you might not be able to see it today, but there's a few rocks just out here, not very far out. That is where the bounty was wrecked and burnt. So on calm days like today, you could swim over there and check it out. But um, it's not very often that it's like this. There's quite often big, big waves coming in and you can't swim over it. But. All right, so uh, get back on the quad bike, head up the hill, hill of difficulty. You, uh, you can walk up it, but I wouldn't recommend it. Stuff that. Up for a bike. <laughs> Alrighty, so this is the edge. It's a great spot to come and check out what's happening down the landing. Without having to go down the hill of difficulty. Got a nice chair there. It's a great spot to watch the sunrise from. Right out through there. Beautiful spot. Uh, that's these buildings are like a workshop area. Got tools and things in them. And hidden away in the corner. A few plaques and memorials for the bounty and the people people that arrived on it and over here is the anchor from the Arcadia so Arcadia was a shipwreck on Ducey Island let's say 18 1881 it was shipwrecked there so the anchor rests up here as a bit of a memorial all right on to the next spot station this is where you go if you want to get a if you're gonna get your license to drive one of these quad bikes all 
Alrighty, so this little building is the store. Uh, by the time you get here though, there might be a new one. This is what we're working on at the moment. This whole area is going to be a, a new store, a lot larger. Going to be an awesome view out there too. Anyway, I'll show you this one. Alright, this is the store. Come and annoy the attendant. Lots of stuff in here, but the most important one is down the back. Whoa. Jaden! Hard to get good stuff around here, eh? Just across the road, a sign for Andy's Pizzeria. If he's open, he'll put something in here. He's away at the moment, so no one's getting pizza. Alright, on to the next. This is the first walk of the day. It's down Isaacs. A nice bench up here to have a look down. Anyway, let's go down the stairs. Alrighty. It's probably the easiest walk around here. Steps all the way. And the reward at the end is pretty cool. Awesome little spot. And there's some rock pools down there. Let's go a little further across. down Isaacs all along here really good fishing spots if you can get out there without the without the waves are washing you off and then this pool here great fun to jump into I did it the other day I'm not gonna do it today so I'll, I'll roll the footage from there
Alrighty. So this is the Pitcairn Island Square. Yes, I'm wearing different clothes. Filming this over a couple different days. So, uh, this is the square. You got the church over here. So the church is on a Saturday here. Full of singing and everything. It sounds sounds quite nice in there. So the square is sort of where it's like a community area where public dinners are held. We just had one, so that's what all the tables are set up for. It's got the offices, the government treasury, and the post office. The main attraction of the square is this. The, the bounty's anchor and a cannon. So when you come here, you do the touristy thing. Get a picture. All right, so the square's being rebuilt as well. So might look a little different by the time you get here. Yeah, cool. Let's carry on. Whoops, I forgot to mention the bells hanging in the corner of the square. They're pretty important. Um, so they are rung when there are important events, um, like a cruise ship arriving, or Anzac Day, like this. So yeah, when you come to the square on Pitcairn Island, have a look at the bells. Um, don't ring them, <laughs> it's pretty important. Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave you here for this episode and I'll be back very soon with the next part. Cool.